started off my day with a nice chest workout, except my back, my lower back is on fire. It hurts so bad. So I did what I could. And now I'm going to run to Home Depot and get some supplies for a little project that I have in store that I've been meaning to do for a while. And since I'm doing this Jeep build, I don't have a lot of money to do like, like in install videos like all the time. So this one's gonna be relatively cheap and it should be cool. So let's get that started. I don't know why I'm talking over there when the thing's here. Yeah. It's a nice M5. This place looks packed. Wish me luck. So you're probably wondering why I was looking at wood flooring and hardwood and stuff like that in Home Depot. Well, I picked up just a box of some oak vinyl planks and I'm actually going to put it in the trunk of the Jeep, like on the floor because I have the back seat out and everything. But I'm actually going to cut out all the holes so I can put the back seat in if I want to. Um, I'm going to keep all the tie downs there. And I went with vinyl flooring because it can get wet because there's no wood in it. It's not a laminate. It's not actual wood. So if it gets wet, it's completely fine. It's no different than it just sitting on my bedline floor. And if it does get through, it just sits on the bedline floor. It's all coated. What I've been working on is a template. Oh, this is what it looks like, by the way. A nice color. It should look pretty nice. So, this is the template that I came up with. This is about what I'm going to cut the planks down to. And these are the holes for the little tie-down hooks that are in the trunk. Um, I believe the back seat holes are like somewhere in here. Um, I'm going to mark those out next. i got to figure out how to cut this stuff. Hopefully, maybe there's instructions or something, but it's like... It's like rubbery, kind of, so we'll see. So I cut my test piece, 35 inches, and it worked out great. You just score it with the blade on the line, and then you snap it. I'll show you. Super simple, so I'm just gonna do that for the five pieces that I'm gonna need, and then uh, figure out how to cut the specific little holes that I need. So here is essentially what it's going to look like. I think it looks pretty good. I just have to, I wanna cut uh, the holes, drill the holes for the seat brackets over there, um, and the, the hooks. And that hook in the back too, the hooks up there as well. But it looks like it's all gonna be on this piece and it's not gonna overlap two pieces, so it shouldn't be too bad once I figure out how to cut a hole in this. So for the overall first test fit, pretty well. I'm just gonna measure from here to here. I'm also gonna take these carpets out because I have the rest out, why not just finish it off? Um, so I'm just gonna measure this, cut this piece, put it in there, see how it is, and then figure out the rest. So 
I gave up on the flooring for the day. It's uh, I need a lot of measurements to drill the holes out for all the hooks and everything. I'll do it throughout the week and I'll try and maybe film a little bit every day and then release in another video next weekend. Like I give up because I'm going to go to a car show tonight which will be fun. I'll bring you guys along. But uh, during the week I work full time and it's just really hard to come home and then I go to the gym because that's what I like to do. And then I have things to do, like I gotta eat, I gotta shower, I gotta do whatever needs to be done around the house, and then I just don't have time for YouTube. So I'll try and film a little bit of me working on this throughout the week, and then make a full video out of it for next weekend. But for now, I'm gonna go to the car show at Bald Hill, and hopefully get some sick angles and have a good time. Off to the meet now. It should be pretty good, because it's Labor Day, so a lot of people are off from work, so. Hopefully it's a good turnout. I got Jacob back there, and then our buddy Vinny in his Subaru. It's fresh, so hopefully it's a good turnout. Get some good clips, I got the glide cam. Do some cool shots. I'll talk to you when we get there. I think I found my favorite car here. Ready? Ready? Come down. Come down here. Yo! What? Yo! Look at that stance, bro. <laughs> if you remember right, my buddy Alex had that tan bedlined XJ. I made a couple videos on it in the beginning of my channel. And the kid that bought it from him is actually here, so we're gonna go check it out. Freaking need one of these. What is that? It's got a little oil cooler. It's so sick. Hey 
every car meet show thing around here, those two guys, the two trucks, are always flexing on each other. Trevor's Ranger is actually pretty sick. He built it and it kicks ass, so. I spy a skyline that just pulled in. And There's so many motorcycles around now, so I can't really like talk to the camera. I got a bunch of good shots with my glide cam, so that's probably gonna be it for this one. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm probably gonna go take some pictures now, so follow me on the gram, at DC Molzoff, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. I run away.